both of what are the twelve imams? Oh, I mean, uh, Imam Ali, Ali, Imam Hassan, Imam Hussain, Imam Zain al Abidin, Imam Muhammad Bakir, Imam Jafar Sadiq, Imam Musa Qasim, Imam Ali Raza, Imam Muhammad Taki, Imam Ali Naki, Imam Hassan Asqari, Imam Muhammad. Uh, Imam Ali, Imam Hassan, Imam Hussain, Imam Zain al Abidin, Imam Muhammad Bakir, Imam Muhammad Bakir, Imam Jafar Sadiq, Imam Musa Qasim, Imam Ali Raza, Imam Muhammad Taki, Imam Ali Naki. Imam Muhammad Hassan Asqa Imam Muhammad Mahdi. Okay, so who's our Imam now? Uh, Imam Muhammad Mahdi. Where is he? Um, he well, can be, he's, uh, he, he's somewhere in the world. He's, he's somewhere in the world, but we don't know. Why don't we know where he um, is? Because uh, he's, he's, he's invisible him. somewhere. He, he's, he's hiding because the right Allah time. is invisible and uh, he made um, um, Imam Muhammad Mahdi invisible. Why is he invisible? Uh, because... Uh, why can't we see him? Like, why, if he's the Imam, then we should be able to see him. We should be able he, to... He, he's a uh, Imam. He's the somewhere guide else. And, the, and God is like, here to like... Take us to the right path. Guiders, guide, yeah, guides. Okay. Guides, yeah, guides. So, when is Imam Mahdi gonna come? Like, when are we gonna be uh, able to see at him? At the end of the world. No, probably before. Before the end of the world. Yeah, probably before. Like the, 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 like, the probably the last day because that uh, he knows when it's the last day. You're so clever, both of you, mashallah. Yeah. Where did you learn all this stuff from? Wow. Okay, so wh uh, why is he gonna come at the end of the world then? Oh, uh, because he's gonna, he's gonna like uh, at the end of nearly at the end of the world. If it's like one more day, um, the, uh, I think the well, Jal and uh, Imam Muhammad Mehdi are gonna go and fight. Right. And uh, in a in a hiding place somewhere. Well, uh, he first um, because he's gonna come to the end of the world is that. For example, uh, people want to see him. Yeah. Yeah. So they pr probably might want to kill him. Okay. So that's why he's yeah, not here now. Because uh, because it, people it, it, might it, think that he's bad, uh, but he's actually because, good. Uh, in in this world, there are bad people, aren't there? Yeah. Uh, not well, not all, well, not everyone's single person. Because he might look good, bad. But, he might look bad, um, and uh, he and he will so, think uh, everyone will think that he's bad. But some people, uh, the Muslims, uh, some of the Muslims will think that they're bad. But uh, 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 we might know that he's good. Okay. So when he comes, people might not believe him. That's what you're saying. Then is it? Some people yeah. might think that he's bad. Because, for example, other other re religions, they know they don't believe in. Uh, and like they, Christians, they don't believe what we believe. And in. Christians, and, they think that um, they're uh, the, uh, and, the uh, Jesus is a Christian, but he's not. He's a Muslim. That's that's true. That's very true. Go on, Heather. What were you saying? Well, so uh, like in, in the Christianity, they say that Jesus died and then came back alive. But, uh, but that is in, not really. But true. To, in our religion, uh, he doesn't actually die. Yeah. So basically. Um, what is the point of Imam Mahdi? Like, why why is he gonna come back? Uh, uh, well, well, he, there's obviously he's obviously gonna, gonna obviously kill twelve uh, uh, imams because he doesn't um, want ev everyone to be bad from the jail. Okay, so he's gonna. Kill so him. there's like, uh, for example, there's twelve yeah. imams, and like, um, well, the eleventh imam has died. Yeah, wrong mm -hmm. all that, and so he, like each. Each, uh, each imam. Uh, so when the when one imam dies, obviously the next one comes. So there's obviously twelve. Mm -hmm. When all those twelve have died, yeah, and then then obviously the world's gonna end because there's no one to guide. Right. Well done. So if there's no one to guide us, and then all of us are gonna go like fighting and yeah. things like that. And <laughs> Yeah, because, because if there's we, no guide, so for, for lost, example, if if we don't we're have gonna a mom, die. If, if we don't have a mom, and then we've got no rules to follow to, so what are we gonna do? We like just yeah, be, but how fighting over other people. Uh, well, Allah can Allah can do something, but he's he's made a rule for everyone in this world that um, 
But no, uh, I will. No, no, I will decide that who's gonna go to heaven or hell. Yeah. And then, uh, you like uh, when you go to heaven. No, no, uh, when no, when you go no, to heaven, heaven uh, you, no, when you go to heaven, yeah, there might be nothing. In the chatterbox. Nothing food. <laughs> yeah. And then you'll say, "Give me ice cream." <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so that is um, true. So about heaven and hell. Well, once the well, obviously the prophets and imams they like they like the protectors of the world. Yes. Yes. The well, the the imam guides the world, and uh, Allah will like tell them what 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 you have to do and what yeah. you uh, what's go going to happen, things like that. What's coming to happen, and for example. Uh, there's this story that I think is a prophet. Mm. He, uh, I, I like said that you you have to go, you have to like make these people good. Mm. But then uh, he got he is he he got fed up of them, gave up, and then uh, Allah uh, then he went out of the city. There's a, there's a city that he was, had to make everyone good. Like this, so for example, that's like a guide. He has, he has to try uh, making them. Uh, follow him. And so, no one will know when it, the end, the world will end. When, when do you think the world is going to end? Well, I think in it, 2013. Why do you well, think in 2013? Pe people, people, no, people, people, said this, people said this year, well, some people said last year, that's true, yeah. yeah. But at the end, it, it didn't, so they made a big fool out of themselves. Well, the uh, Ahlul Bayt, the Imams, don't give deadlines. They don't say it's going to end on this day or that day. But how would we know the world is about to end? Once yeah. bad things happen, really. Okay. Well, I wouldn't say bad things when like things what? like go like wrong. Like what? Like shooting. No. Like uh. Like bad shooting and killing. Like, fl like floods. <laughs> nearly in every every country that like, people are dying. Loads of people are dying. No. Yeah. Well, not well, not well, now. I won't say now. I would say less now. people die. Well, obviously, after like one, one or two seconds, okay. people die. But uh, like J Jap Japan, uh, Japan's flood, isn't it? The tsunami. Tsunami, yeah, and earthquake, things like that. So, what do you think uh, are going to be like the signs for when Imam Mehdi is going to come back? And the signs, what signs? Like signs, like what should we look out for? Like, is there any sort of like, um, well, things that we should look out for? Saying that oh, when like, uh, the, uh, maybe, well, this well one of, one of them probably be like obviously, what things that have bad stuff. Okay. Yeah, because. For example, no, it's not to be bad. The, you, you've already said this is like a bad stuff. For example, every single country in this world are like Need in danger bad. by uh, tsunamis. That, that's a bad thing, isn't it? Mm. Uh, something like that. That's like that's like some, some signs. So what do you? Um, so right now we can't see Mahmeti. Well, some people have, but I'm not saying everyone. Everyone who has um, seen Mahmeti. Well, I don't really. Well, remember. Allah has. Obviously, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anyone. because he's up with God and uh, they're both invisible. Right. I'm just asking. I'm not. Well, Shaitan really... has a long time ago, but now uh, he he whispers in our ear to do something bad. Yeah, that's all Shaitan can do is whisper yeah. in our ear. Shaitan doesn't actually, you know, he force doesn't you do to do bad stuff. Like he just forcing. gives you ideas to do bad. What stuff. to do? Like up to knock us. over this laptop and then yeah. runs up, run off. <laughs> That's what right. Mean. So basically, Shaitan <laughs> whispers in our ears. But it's up to us to know when Shaitan is whispering in our ears. So we have to listen to what's because, going on. Because he can whisper any second or any minute right now. Yeah, exactly. Right now, so he can give you ideas right now, basically. So yeah, so we were talking about Imam Mahdi al Islam. So right now we can't see Imam Mahdi. So yeah. where is he? Well, he might, knows. well, he might be somewhere in this room. No, he's not in this room. Well, he might you never be. Know. He might. You never know. He might be in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you were saying? You never know. Well, okay. what, mm -hmm. well, there's more, well, more of a chance near the Kaaba. Is there? Well, no, I'm not saying he's there, but more of a chance. 
He might because it's God's house. Yeah, it's God's house, and he's probably like when no one's there, he's probably gonna go and pray there. Pray. Yeah. Oh yeah, he is. Cause Cause they, well, uh, for example, do you know all you know, the guiders? They normally, they normally like go well. Probably, be probably well, they, they normally like go to the go go where they can. Well, because for example, Iman, they have they have a guy which is Allah. So uh, Allah tells him probably in a dream that directly things like that. So uh, Allah tells him, and Allah's their guide. So shall I tell you a secret then? Yeah. Imam Mehdi Alaihissalam. It's not really a secret, but you might not you might not know this because you know so much already, mashallah. So it's the thing me. is. Not really, it's actually really good news. Good! Imam okay. Mehdi okay. is about to come. He's about to emerge, he's about to come out to the world. Yeah. And Imam Mehdi has sent his son out to people. I and didn't know that Imam... Uh... Oh yeah! And now I do. Yeah, now, yeah, I now you do, now you know. Okay. Because all the Imam... Shall, shall, shall I ask for my, my teacher? You can ask your teacher, but the thing is, like... A lot of people um, might not know, might not know this already. So you can ask your teacher, but your teacher. Only well, that's tomorrow. Our head is going. Well, your so teacher can, can ask. Your teacher can only tell you how much he knows, but no, it de depends how the person knows. So for how much information the person knows. Okay. So, so basically, Imam Mehdi has sent his son out to tell people that he's about to come. And he's telling people that basically... Why don't they send leaflets? There are leaflets. There are yeah. leaflets that's all over the world. It's all over Well, the it, there's none in your house. Do you want to bet? Yeah. Well, we can't bet because we're not allowed to bet. Yeah. No. But there are leaflets. There is information about this. Well, where there are they right now? Where what? Where are the leaflets right now? I actually made some leaflets with someone. Hmm? And I have them over here. What about? Really? About the fact that Imam Mehdi is about to come. Let's see. Awesome. How did you make them? Oh, well, I wrote it. Someone else designed it and someone else had it printed. Awesome. But these are the leaflets. But listen, guys, this is the thing right now. Um, yeah, so Imam Mehdi is about to come and he sent someone that the Prophet said that was going to come before Imam Mehdi al Islam because in reality before the Prophet died the Prophet wrote a will he wrote like you know what he wants doing and who's going to be the Imam after him which was Imam Ali and he wrote everything that's going to happen so then everything else is going to start all over again what do you mean so Imam like uh, all the Imams are going to be alive then well that's Let's take this one step at a time now, okay? So basically, Imam. So then, all of the Imams are still dead, and uh, okay, all that's the of them are alive. The twelve. Imam Mehdi is here. Yeah. Now, but, right? But all the Let rest. me explain. Let Eleven. Imam, Imam, also, you know, if you okay. you've talked a lot now. Right. Okay, then gonna so basically, uh, the Prophet said there are going to be twelve Imams and twelve Mehdi's, right? There's going to be twelve Imams and 12 Mehdi's. So after Imam Mehdi is going to be the first Mehdiun, which is his son, right? His son is here already. His son is uh, was born in Iraq, in Basra, and his name is Ahmad al Hassan. And people have seen him, people have heard his voice, people have heard him speak. Have you? I've heard him speak, yeah. I, have. I believe in him. Yeah, and I will. I believe in him because you know why? Mm -hmm. Because everything that I've heard him say everything that I've read from him is the truth and he reminds me of Imam Ali al -Islam. so basically if we believe in Imam Mehdi we have to believe in Imam Ahmed right so basically Imam Ahmed has come out and he's telling people um, you know not to just follow anyone blindly because you know what a lot of people do right a lot of people follow you know scholars and the Molana and teachers and things like that, they follow them like all the time. They believe everything that they say, you know, and they say, we, uh, they kiss their hand, they kiss their hand and they make a promise and they say, we'll do whatever you tell us to do. We believe in you. No, you know, I, I, but the, I wouldn't do that. do that. And you know why we shouldn't do that is because they're not Masum. They're not Imams. We should only believe in the Imams. And Imam Mehdi has told us to believe in Imam Ahmed. 
a less of them. So basically, there's all of this information out as well. I'm not like, really right behind teachers because uh, teachers I, can make mistakes as well. Uh, well, yeah. well, imams, well, they 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 don't really make mistakes because yeah. they they they're not uh, well. They're the most e intelligent. Because they're sent by God mm. to guide people, like you said. So basically, we have to believe in the Imam of they our time. They are the most important people in the world. So the good news is, people, that uh, Imam Mehdi is about to come. And Imam Mehdi has sent his son, Imam Ahmed. And we have to believe in Imam Ahmed. Would you like to hear Imam Ahmed's voice? Yeah. He's just, it's in Arabic, but you can listen to his voice. Now, when I heard this voice, I believed that he's the Imam. I'll Sorry. play the voice for you. Oh, please. I really want to hear his voice. I'm not scared. Well, anyway, the voice is just a voice, isn't it? That's true. But his and voice is like... It's different from every everyone's. Yeah. And plus, because he's the imam as well. So, I'll play it for you. Thank you. Now I'm not being bad. Now, I'm mouthy. <laughs> when were you bad before? No, like uh, laughing funny. Yeah, no, when it's time to talk about serious things. Yes, yeah, serious things. I don't do that. That's well, good. Like, when I talk Urdu to, uh, to my mom and uh, when we sit on the table and talk Urdu, then I don't do anything. Uh, is, does Heather want to listen as well? Where's he gone? No, put it on twice then. Okay, but I'll let you listen to a little bit of it because it's in Arabic as well. Okay. But you should um, tell your mum this as well and tell your dad this as well because I've spoken to your dad and your dad needs to like listen to this carefully. So what's the website anyway? I'll give you it. I'll write it all down for you. I'll give you the leaflet as well. And I'll write it all down for you as well. This is his voice. What, that's the son of Imam Mehdi. Yeah. Well, um, all of the Imams, they're all guides. And, and, they're, and they're talking a different kind of voice than us. No, they have. everyone has a voice that Allah gave them. Like, they're human beings as well. But, like, this is the voice of the Imam of our time. This is the voice of our Imam. Like, you know, people, like Imam uh, Mehdi has been invisible, like he's been in Raiba for so many hundreds of years, right? And people didn't know about him. Some people died without ever hearing his voice and without ever, ever having seen him. So that's how people die. Like, or when they hadn't heard uh, their, uh, someone's voice, like, uh, so like, no, not every single person's voice, well obviously you can hear <laughs> some people's voices, but like uh, the the son of uh, Imam Muhammad Mehdi, if you haven't, no, but you won't like, you won't die for, no, so like, um, this okay, is, I, so this Allah, what I'm trying to tell you, right, is that, you know, it's very, very, it's a big thing to hear the voice of the Imam of your time. Right? This is the Imam of our time that we should be believing in. And Every single in. person. Every single person. Or then person. they will die. Or then they will go to hell when they die. Oh. So they will go. So they will die at hell. No. They will die and then go to hell. Ah. Uh, so if they don't. If they don't. So hell is this with a sanding. Sorry? He hell is just a plain place. No, nothing hell is somewhere where you, people get tortured is a really bad place to go. You don't want to go to hell, right? So basically, if you don't believe in the imam of your time, that's where people will end up. So we have to tell people that the Do imam is here. Yeah. Is um, a Imam Muhammad Mehdi's brother, well, son, um, invisible too? No. So People have seen him. And, and that's how they got the recording. So if he was invisible, we wouldn't be able to hear his voice, then would we? No. So, like, uh, how can, um, then how can, uh, Allah can, 
How can Allah hear uh, Imam uh, Muhammad Mahdi's voice? Allah can hear everyone. Every single person. So like mine right now. Yeah, you right now. Allah can hear your voice right now. And Allah knows that... No, I'm that talking about good things, yeah. not bad. Yeah, and so Allah knows that you're talking about the Imam. So basically we have to tell people this. We have to tell everyone... That yeah, but you get suave if you talk uh, about the Imam. Yes, and you get a lot of suave if you talk about... Uh, the Imam, the, the Imam is about to come and the Imam has sent his son, Ahmed. His son's name is Ahmed. And I'll give you like all of the website and all of the address and everything. And so you can go home and you can tell your mummy and your daddy about this. And especially your mummy as well. Um, Most of the time because uh, my mum believes in Because Allah. your mum learns a lot of things as and well. And she goes to a mosque plenty of times. Yeah. But not when uh, like we're poorly or something. So we have to basically tell people that the Imam is about to come, Imam Mahdi is about to come. Isn't that exciting news? That's really big news, isn't it? Imagine like, you know, one day Imam Mahdi is here in the world and you can see him and you can talk to him and you can like ask him things. Can you imagine how big that would be? That would be pretty big, wouldn't it? So then you'd have to like really, 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 really pray. You have to really pray that, you know, um, Allah basically takes us to Imam Mahdi al Yeah, but I can hear beeping. Where from outside? Yeah. I can as well, you know. What's that? Okay. I don't know. I think it might be an omni. No, it's not. Go and check. Come on. Yeah, it is. Alrighty. Is it? Yeah, it is.